Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you doing today? How are you today? Fine. Fine. That's awesome. How was your weekend? Did what you do you say? Descansado? Uh, I rest. Uh, ¿Qué se lo escribo? Uh, relaxed. It was relaxed. I rest a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you rest a lot? No housework, no trabajo de casa, nada. Nothing. Nice. <laughs> Those are the best vacations that we may have. Son las mejores vacaciones cuando no hacemos nada y nos consiente. <laughs> That's the same here. No cogemos también pizza y cosas, pero ay, yo con tal de no cocinar, yo como, como lo que sea. <laughs> That was nice. Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed your weekend. Um, uh, espero que hayan avanzado con la plataforma. Eh, so, algunas personas me escribieron... Eh, por ejercicios y creo que pues los hemos solventado. Igual, ¿verdad? Cualquier duda o pregunta, no duden, sea sábado, domingo, viernes, that's okay. Vamos a ayudar. La idea es de que avancen y que vayan completando sus ejercicios. Eh, ahora vamos a empezar la sección 3. Vamos súper bien con el tiempo, con los temas. Eh, si se dieron cuenta, este es de Directions. So we're going to be practicing how to give directions and also vocabulary about places. Okay, so we're going to start. I see just eight people are in the meeting. Solo hay ocho, son pocos, pero bueno, vamos a seguir con los que están. Gracias por estar temprano y recuerden siempre que la asistencia es importante. Eh, porque es práctica, es su chance de practicar. Y aparte que también les cuenta para la obtención de su certificado y la reserva de su beca. Let's continue here with the topic. So we're going to watch the video for the vocabulary of places and things that we can do or get in those places. And then we're going to practice and see how to increase that vocabulary. Let me share my screen. Gonna watch the first video here. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums.
Well, this is the vocabulary that we heard in the platform. We got the post office, drugstore, the gas station, the department store, bank, bookstore, coffee shop, and a supermarket. And also the things that we can do or get in those places. For example, we heard that we can buy or get an aspirin in a drugstore. Now, do you remember when can we get bread? Where can I get bread here? A uh, supermarket. Yes, excellent. In a supermarket. Where can I get a dictionary? A bookstore? bookstore. In a bookstore, yes. Where can I get gasoline? In a gas station. In a gas station, that's correct. Uh, where can I get a sandwich? In a restaurant. restaurant. Yes, I can get it in a restaurant too. And of those places? A coffee shop. In a shop. coffee shop. Yes, that's correct. Where can I get stamps? A post office. Yes, in a post office. Good. Now, where can I get a suit? In the department store. In a department store, uh huh. And where can I get a traveler's check? A bank. In a bank. Okay, good. What other things can we do in those places? Can you give more examples? of what things can we do or get in those places? We have a couple of examples here. Tenemos un par de ejemplitos de cómo uh, practicar más con esto. ¿Qué más podemos hacer o obtener en estos lugares que están acá? Eh, tenemos otro ejemplo acá. You can get a magazine at a bookstore. Podemos comprar revistas en una bookstore. And you can send a package at the post office. Mm -hmm. Any other ideas from you? The coffee shop, I can, I can get dessert. Oh, yes, you can get dessert in a coffee shop. Very good, thank you. Anybody else? And you can buy uh, milk. And the supermarket. Yes, there he is. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I can buy a dress in a, in a department store. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Any other ideas? I can the dictionary uh, bookstore. Mm, okay, you can get a dictionary in a bookstore. Anything else? I can pay electric bill and that supermarket. Ah, excellent. Yes, you can pay your bills in a supermarket. Yes, that's true. Good one. Any other? In the bank too. The bill, ah, they yeah. pay the bill. Yes, you can also pay the bills in a bank. Mm -hmm. Correct. Any other idea? What, what else can I do in a gas station? Or what else can I get in a gas station besides um, gasoline? Oil. 
Oh, yeah, you, you can, can get oil. oil. Uh huh. Yes, you can get oil in a gas station. Any other idea? I can. I can uh, buy gasoline for expensive. Oh, oh no, you can't buy gasoline. Now it's very expensive. Yes, very expensive. <laughs> you better travel by bus. <laughs> Very, or do carpooling. Yes, you can try carpooling. Hacer carpooling, así como ver a alguien que tenga carro y, bueno, descansa el carro de uno, se van en uno solo. <laughs> de repente. <laughs> Porque esto a saber hasta cuándo, ¿verdad? Okay. Um, any other ideas? Or in any the, other in, places? In the, in that would in the uh -huh. gas station, I can I can feel the radiator. Ah, oh, okay. You can check your car also. Yeah, yeah. pueden chequear. Uh -huh. You can check your car. Um, mm -hmm. Also, you can um, buy drinks. Uh huh. So because they have like a, like a mini supermarkets there always. Okay, any other places that you may um, recall or mention besides this one? Any other places? Teacher, mm -hmm. in the gas station today, I can cry for the price. <laughs> oh, you can cry in a gas station. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If you need to cry, you just go in a gas station. You can do that. <laughs> Today it was it was very complicated traffic inside the gas station. Inside of a gas station. Yeah. Ah, yes, because the prices will increase tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, that's why. Okay. Well. Uh huh. Uh, you can clean the car in the gas station. O sea, se puede decir eso? Yes, yes, you can clean your, um, mm -hmm. you can clean the car or, or wash the car, some gas station. I think that no. Yes, but yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Any other places that you can mention in English? Park. 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 Yeah, Pinon. I can meet with my friend uh, at a coffee shop. Mm, you can eat uh, with your friends in a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Can we need some? Yes, nice. Okay, um, let's see some more places that you, you can mention. Is a restaurant? Airport, police station, parkway. Uh, yes, the parkway or a parking lot. Parking lot. In the same platform, we can we can meet. Mm -hmm. Any other places? And church and oh, mall. yeah, the church, uh, mall, mm -hmm. um, toy store, it's cool, toy store, uh huh, the school, dentist, the dentist, okay, uh huh, hospital, okay, good. So let's continue here. Uh, we have another video about compound noun. Uh, talking about places, we may find uh, that many of those are compound nouns. Eh, muchos de estos lugares eh, son nombres compuestos. Vamos a ver el video donde se nos explica 
que son compound nouns, cómo se forman y pues algo de pronunciación también. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website vocaroo.com. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. That's not complicated, right? No es realmente complicado, solo es la explicación de qué es cuando ustedes oyen que pronunciado se dice la palabra noun, que es un noun. Es básicamente todo lo que nos rodea son nouns, toda cosa que nos rodea. Y esto, los compound nouns son nombres que se componen de dos nombres para formar una palabra diferente. Por ejemplo, la palabra gas, como sí, si, pues es gas. Estación también es una palabra independiente. Ahora sí si las juntamos, gas station, um, forman una palabra eh, diferente. Eh, si decimos, por ejemplo, drop, so you entiendes droga, right? So, o algo así, una droguería es una drug store, que es lo mismo que pharmacy. Ok. Eh, police, um, police es un policía, es una palabra, un noun individual, ¿verdad? Que se puede usar solito, pero si le ponemos station, la estación de policía, gas, eh, police station, igual que gas station. So, son dos nombres juntos que forman una palabra diferente. Y eso es, cuando hay un compound noun, cuando hablamos de un nombre compuesto, el acento o la fuerza de voz, por decirlo así, que en inglés se llama estrés, usualmente está en el primer noun. Y esa es el, el, la práctica de pronunciación que viene ahí. Y que les puse el dibujito también en la presentación. Como pueden ver acá, tenemos los compound nouns, post office. Donde está la bolita, es donde es que está el estrés. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, 
drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, department store. Todos eh, tienen el estrés o la fuerza de voz en, la pri en el primer noun. Okay. So, vamos a escuchar, les voy a poner el audio dos veces para que ustedes repitan en casa. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, supermarket. department store, department store. Department. page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation, compound nouns, part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Do you have any question? Mm -hmm. No? All right. So let us continue with the next thing. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, to continue with the topic, ya entrando un poco más, uh, ya vamos a ver ya con lo que son las preposiciones del lugar que vamos a estar utilizando. Mm -hmm. y, pues también vamos a ver este video que lo vamos a ir haciendo por partes, que son las prepositions of place. También tenemos una conversación y la explicación de cómo utilizar y el significado de esas preposiciones del lugar. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now, and let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between 
the department store, and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. <sighs>87 exercise 3 conversation it's an emergency listen and practice excuse me can you help me is there a public restroom around here a pub public restroom hmm I'm sorry I don't think so Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue.
On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Okay, if there are no questions, uh, let's go ahead and practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. And this one you have it in the presentation that I sent today. Okay. Ok. Excuse me, excuse eran, me, eran dos. Hola. Hola. ¿Me escuchan? Oh, sí, sí, digan. Ah, es, eran dos conversaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, oh. No, solo una. No, solo una. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, es que me, me perdí en un momentito. Ok, gracias. Bye. Ok. Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Uh, public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs, needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh. There, well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. What on Main Street? It's on the corner 
of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Who's next? Can see Hello. Hello. Hola, hola. Puedo ser yo la woman? Sí. Necesito okay. algo. Manuel y Carla sería. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son is arrested now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss miss it. Thanks a lot. Bien, alguien que practique con Rosa Elba Rivera. Yo voy a practicar con ella. Okay, there you go. Before, eh, antes de que empiecen, recuerden que la pronunciación es first. First. Ajá. Solo esa he escuchado ahorita que está acomodando problemitas. So you can continue. Okay. Thank you. Eh, men a woman. Eh, empiezo. Ok. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my shop needs a restroom now. It's an uh, emergency. Oh dear, well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thank you, Nalo. Lo, lo, Carlita lo... con Manuel lo cambian los lo, lo cambia los roles. Ok, yo soy el, el hombre, pues. <ríe> bueno, empecemos. Excuse me, que
Okay, uh, do we have volunteers to replay the conversation here in the main section? Lara? Okay, I got Lara who wants to, and uh, Carla. Okay, let's do it. Lara and Carla? Yes. Uh, excuse me, can you help me there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. No, it's emergency. Oh dear, well, there's a restroom in the department in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your participation. You did a very, very good job. Any other two volunteers? Okay, I have Cesar and Jeanette. Excuse me. Excuse, okay. excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant along here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh dear, well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where's on Main Street? Where? It's on the corner of Main and Third Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you so much for your participation. You did a very nice job. Do we have another two volunteers? Let's see, I have Suleyma and Manuel. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A uh, public restroom? Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son is a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh dear, well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and Third? Yes, it is across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thank you so much. You did it very nice. Um, es, han hecho un muy buen trabajo con la pronunciación. Nada más es como cuestión de, de, de practicar más para que se oiga más fluido. Es lo único con los... Eh, Con todos los voluntarios que pasaron ahorita es lo mismo. Gracias por participar y felicidades porque están haciendo un muy buen trabajo con pronunciación. Nada más es de repetir más para que vayan ganando más seguridad y se escuche más fluido. Es lo único, pero de ahí por lo demás, excelente. Muy bien. Um, vamos a pasar al siguiente ejercicio. Eh, bueno, es parte del mismo video que acabamos de ver, que son las prepositions of place. Vamos a, um, a escuchar el audio. Igual pueden repetir, ¿verdad? Escuchar y repetir. Eso nos va ayudando a reforzar también la pronunciación. Eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a poner el audio y pueden repetir. of place. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. 
It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, the first preposition is on. Y tenemos un ejemplo usando on. The department store is on Main Street. Utilizamos on, meaning sobre. Ese es el significado. Sobre o cuando algo está encima de algo sobre, ¿verdad? Es en este caso estamos hablando de eh, sobre qué calle está la tienda de de, por departamentos. The department store is on Main Street. Está sobre eh, la calle principal, on. Luego tenemos la preposición on the corner of, que aquí está ilustrada, es en la esquina de. Is on the corner of, y ahí nos menciona las dos calles. Eh, bueno, la calle y la avenida que están abarcando en esa esquina. Eh, it's on the corner of Main and First. Acá como está ilustrado. Then we have the preposition across from. Y tenemos el ejemplo, it's across from the park. Está al cruzarse o, a, o al otro lado del parque. Across from the park. Eh, it's next to, tenemos el ejemplo, it's next to the bank. Next to significa al lado de, contiguo, a la par. It's next to the bank. Y finalmente tenemos la proposición between. Eh, between, aquí está, so, simbolizado con una X, el lugar del que estamos hablando. Y vemos una flechita a, a cada lado. La preposición between la vamos a utilizar para decir que algo está en medio de. Between. Eh, el banco está en medio de. La department store y el restaurant. So, se mencionan los dos lugares que están junto a, eh, a cada lado, right? So, the bank, this is the bank, is between the department store and the restaurant. Y esas proposiciones las vamos a utilizar en el ejercicio que tenemos acá. Eh, siguiendo con esta presentación, estas son las preposiciones que vamos a practicar. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, y between con este ejercicio. Acá tenemos un mapa, tenemos que buscar los lugares y luego completar las oraciones utilizando la preposición que se adecue según el, el, la ubicación. Eh, la primera está casi de hecha, bueno, está empezada, the coffee shop. Vamos a hablar sobre la coffee shop y la buscamos en el mapa. ¿Dónde está? La identificamos acá, está en esta esquinita, Al's Coffee Shop. Entonces la oración me dice, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Es correcto, está sobre la segunda avenida. On Second Avenue. This is the coffee shop. It's on, on Second Avenue. Y dice luego, it's the shoe store. ¿Dónde está el shoe store? Aquí está, favorite shoes. Entonces, ¿cuál me falta acá para completar esta oración? Next. 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 Next to, yes, esa podría completar perfectamente la oración. It's next to the shoe store. Haciendo eh, lo mismo, van a finalizar eh, completando las oraciones que faltan de la 2 a la 5, guiándose con el mapa y pues para que lo hagan más eh, dinámico, lo vamos a hacer en grupo. Entonces, eh, alguien del grupo puede compartir la pantalla para que todos estén viendo lo mismo y terminar de resolver esas oraciones. Vamos a hacer un... Algunos. Ok. Let's join the room, please.
No los comparto yo. Se logra ver. Perdón, perdón. Se logra ver. Sí, ahí está bien. Bueno, comencemos. De movie, de no, movie theaters, o no sé cómo se pronuncia. Eh, movie theater, that's correct. Movie theater, the movie theater. Thank you. Sería between, between eh, and part. It's it all, it's all part of three. Hey, boy, shoot, shoot. Hello. Hola. Across from no. También. Del banco. No, porque ahí en el otro dice de park. Ah, entonces sería. De cross room. No, sería de corner porque dice corner park in my. Y no está nosotros. ¿Cuántos sabemos? O sea, los ocho, los otros compañeros no tienen problemas con los micrófonos. De la, no estoy segura de la segunda. Mm. Ni de la tercera, ni de la cuarta. Me está matando, ¿verdad? No voy, pero <ríe> vaya, este, hagámoslo rápido. Son solo cinco. Uh. Es um, sin corner. On the corner. On the corner of. On the corner of. And my. The corner of park. En mayo. Es on, creo yo, porque. O oh, porque Park Street. Ah. Creo ah. que creo que creo que es on. Es que está Park Street y Main Street son calles. Ah, sí, perdón, es que yo como miraba la parte Entonces creo que The Movie Series is. Perdón, decía este juego. Un parque en May. Un parque en May. Y allí sí sería en Corner de Park. De Corner, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. no. Ah, Cross. Porque yo. Por, ah, porque, o sea, es porque está. No en la esquina. Park May. Me confunde eso, está echando agua, eso no es parque, eso. Yo pienso. Uh 
Entonces, ¿no? Está hablando del cine también. Ah, sí. Y, ajá. El... Para mí sería cross from, pero no sé. Vaya, está bien, así pongamos. Cross from. Well, the gas station. The gas station is. The gas station. Parking lot. No le digo dónde está. Center is second. Second. Veo el, el ahí sí sería porno. Es el parqueo. De corner roof. Y es que yo ni veo dónde está el gas station. El gas station está en la esquinita de arriba. En la última, a la izquierda. Y ahí dice... Uh -huh. eh, Lo siento, teacher, me estoy durmiendo. No, but you did it your best. Eh, lo escuché con la compañera que estaban haciendo lo mejor que podían con los ejercicios. La idea es que los hagan ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, pero sí, escuché que se estaba esforzando con la compañera y pues había más personas en el grupo, pero pues no estaban aportando. Acuérdense que es para que... Eh, Junten sus ideas y puedan solventar los ejercicios y, y si algún compañero tiene dificultad y a mí se me hace quizás que entendí un poquito más, puedo ayudar y, y esa es la idea pues, de hacer los breakout rooms. Es la única, eh, la ventaja que tienen ustedes también de tener estas secciones, ¿verdad? Yo sé que está cansado, es noche ya, pero están haciendo el esfuerzo por algo, ¿verdad? Porque quieren aprender por alguna razón, ya sea que quieren un mejor trabajo o que los promuevan a donde están, etcétera. Entonces, al final su esfuerzo va a valer la pena. Espero, pues, verlos a todos hasta el, el, el último ya en el avanzado. No se den por vencidos y sé que es noche y es difícil estar a estas horas en clase después tal vez de una jornada de trabajo, pero al final valdrá la pena. Paciencia, ¿ok? Y práctica, eso es paciencia y práctica. You did it good. Aunque sea durmiéndose, pero aunque sea algo, 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 van a ir a, ahí a, afianzando. Thank so, you. That would be for today. Yo sé que quizás no terminaron el ejercicio porque nos faltó tiempo. Y porque ya pues ya dando la día ya estamos más para allá que para acá. Pero mañana vamos a revisar cómo nos fue. Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos para ir viendo... Eh, cómo se solucionó el ejercicio y practicar un poco más las direcciones. Es un tema eh, no complicado quizás, pero sí de mucha práctica. Así que pues descansen y nos vemos mañana. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.